have a driver's license, chances are you notice something off in your car just by the way it sounds. And then you take it to a mechanic and they usually know what's wrong also just by listening. Sound is a very powerful source of information. It can play a vital role in surveillance. Think detecting glass breaking, screaming or gunshots. It's also used in quality assurance, multimedia, the list goes on. In the last few decades, we have witnessed a boom in machine learning and computer vision, largely thanks to massive image datasets. But what happens when there is little or no visual information? That's where sound steps in. My massive thesis presents a system for real-time classification and localization of acoustic events. I wanted to detect abrupt events, like a clap or a finger snap and determine what happened and where it happened using only sound. To do this, I built a system of 16 microphones grouped in fours as shown in image A. Each microphone pair connects to one processing unit that listens for sudden sounds in real time. That's step one. When an event is detected, the first 100 milliseconds of audio are captured and transformed into a spectrogram. An example of one is shown in figure B. Now, stay with me here. A spectrogram is just a visual representation of a sound wave. The information is exactly the same. That image gets sent to a more powerful unit that runs a deep neural network to identify the sound and extract its features. That's step two. Meanwhile, another unit analyzes the original audio across all 16 microphones to estimate where the sound came from. This is the final step, localization, and some results are shown in figure C. Key questions were, can this run in real time? How accurate is the classification? And can we trust the system when it tells us, hey, this happened in the left corner of the room? Turns out, yes. The system can run in real time, classifies events with 96% accuracy, and estimates the location with an average error of 1.4 meters. So imagine a line from the real sound source to the estimated one, it would be just over one meter long. This study demonstrated both the potential and the challenges of working with sound, and showed that when vision falls short, Listening carefully can do the trick.